Now, thanks for staying with us. If you're looking for something to keep you occupied... <laughs> are you working on your baking skills? Oh, oh God. Oh, well, such fun we have such, here, Tommy. Such, 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 such fun. Such a laugh. Well, Catherine Lynn has a fruity favourite in store, a rustic blackberry pie. Good simple, morning. Very simple. Good morning, gentlemen. Now, Good morning to you. Here we have 175 grams, that's six ounces, of our cream plain flour. Here I have 20, 125 grams, that's four ounces, of uh, butter or margarine, butter I'm using today, mm. pinch of salt. So it's really basic pastry I'm making as a, a base for the pie. Because normally I always see a Catherine with the machine, with the big food processor, yes. so you don't need it this one. No, just the tips of your fingers. This is the real old-fashioned bacon. Old bacon, bacon, isn't it? As your bacon. grandmother and their mothers right. and everything did. Yes, yes, no exactly. big fancy machines. Get Not the fingers stuck in. Get the fingers in. And just with the tips of the fingers, rub the butter through, and you end up with something like that. Now, you add about two tablespoonfuls of, as the fellow says, cowed water. <laughs> and cows water. Well, that's we have enough animals. <laughs> we have no cows <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we've goats cold. and we've dogs and we've rabbits, rabbits. but we've no, we've no cows. We'll have to get now, a cow tomorrow. We'll to gradually tomorrow. add <laughs> milk and cows tomorrow. Gradually add the water, because if you put too much in, you can't take it out, <laughs> as I've said several times before. Now, you just bring the mixture together. And oh, you have... Why a knife? That's a sharp knife as opposed yeah, a to a knife, spoon, say. Or... The blade, if the knife is cooler is than a wooden spoon would be, yeah. Right. And to keep have a good pastry, have everything as cold as possible. Oh. Now, you just bring the mixture together as we have there and wrap it in cling film and put it into the fridge for about 10 minutes. Oh, okay. okay. That's it. Can you leave it longer if you want to leave do it this overnight. the day before? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And yep. then you can, if you're planning it, Exactly. Take it out the day after and then so sort of start sort again. Of so that's a pastry, it's a is basic it? It's short crust pastry. Short crust yeah. pastry. Okay, yeah. there you so, go. Do you not do your baking? Do you not make your pastry at home? No, I, I'm desperate. I'd go and buy the short crust, oh, crust pastry you. and I'd go and roll it out. I know, it's terrible. Isn't it? I, I know, actually it's so simple. No, I have that. to say, I didn't realise it was that easy. To a cinch, look. Yeah. So we literally, that would take, what, 20 minutes, including the time it's sitting in the... Very yeah. quickly. As Emer produces, it says me. Yeah, it does no for bacon at <laughs> it all. It goes ping in the microwave <laughs> for dinner. It goes and opens the cap. You, you, don't, you probably don't even use a corkscrew. You just use, you just screw the top. It's too much hard work. Now, roll it into a round, lads. Out like onto that. a baking tray. And into that, we're going to put our blackberries. Now, here I have right. about... Seven yeah. ounces of blackberries. You could use gooseberries. They're in season now. Or strawberries. Or no. no. I prefer they, raspberries or loganberries. The berries. strawberries would run and melt. Yes, go all over the show yeah. on you. Yeah. So now, into that, I'm going <laughs> to put <laughs> one <laughs> tablespoonful of flour and two tablespoonfuls of sugar. I was going to... I was wondering, when's the sugar coming into this? Surely it can't be a nice pie without a bit of sugar on it. A bit of sugar, two tablespoonfuls of sugar. And you just combine those together, so just to make sure all your blackberries or your gooseberries are covered in the flour and the sugar. Then pile them into the centre. Like this couldn't, couldn't be How good. How easy is easy. that? Yeah. A cinch. Catherine, we, we have this here in front of yeah, us, and we, we, we're being, we've been very good. To be fair, we have a big bowl of custard here. I can't not <laughs> We've been very I good know. not you have to have using it, it already. There's green there as well for you. Oh, now, before you put it into the oven, you just take some butter. It's really, really simple. Really simple, but yep. really good. Now, you just top. It's so juicy. Two ounces oh, of butter. Mm. There's just loads of berries there. Like it. Yeah, about twelve ounces. And does that melt down? I was or going to say, will that run? It just melts into it. Does it? As you can see now. That's now ready for the oven. You just pile your pastry up around the edge of it. Okay, so you roll it over. Couldn't be easier. Look. Do you not? Do, will that go over the top? Will it? No, it just comes. Oh, round so the you sides. Leave some, you leave some sticking out the top. Give a space in the centre, yep. As we'll see now, we take one out of the oven. Because it's very thick, that pastry as well, so you don't roll it, you don't Not make too, it too thin. No, because there's extra fat in it, Tommy, you don't... It's prone to breaking, so you've got to be kind of careful with it. Now, so we're going to put this in and take this one out. Three, 190, 375, gas mark five. For how long? About 30 to 40 minutes. Now, that's a big no. difference, 30 to 40, yeah. Catherine. Do you just keep watching How would you it? know? Keep an eye on it, yep. So if it's nice and brown like that, take it out, it's Look gone. Look at this now. Mm. Ooh. There you go. Wow. Oh, look how proud you're proud of punch yeah. with punch with that I'm one. delighted with that, yeah. Now, what you can do, but I forgot to do it on this one and the one gone into the oven, <laughs> you can brush it with egg <laughs> or milk and put a bit of um, 
demerara sugar over it. But I have that's a one on that, this one It's here. on that one there, yeah. We see this one here in front of us. You can see, see. that one. So it's glazed on the top and then the sugar on yeah, it there. Yeah, but that's not essentially, I mean, it'll And then you kind of need a bit of then the custard and a bit of cream to Don't go you? with it. Yeah, just you really to... do, yeah. Right, yeah. great, yeah. It's really, really simple. like it, Alan. Mm. And with this, Tommy, so this like is, it? it's a real spring song. Well, listen, I'm nearly finished it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a real spring. Really Would simple. it be kind of easy for, for family coming round? Because it doesn't seem to take too long. No, it doesn't. Yeah. If you have your pastry made, you go can out have a pre prepared August, yeah. September, pick your blackberries. It's a great idea. And Prepare you your go. pastry the day before. Yeah, and, and you put it. your flour and sugar into it, and it kind of thickens up a bit the sauce. Now, does. you'd have to warn people that. Oh, it's very hot. Very hot, and those berries, if you cut into them, that will sort of spurt out, and so be careful. I actually burnt my finger, put it Let it cool down, down a bit. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Really to simple cool to make. Down. Now, leave it sit on the tray for a few minutes just to set because it'll be prone to breaking. Then onto a plate, serve it up with custard cream or ice cream. Oh, yeah. Lovely stuff. Yeah. It really is. It's delicious. Delicious, delicious isn't it? Yeah. Thank you very Absolutely much. Absolutely delicious. My pleasure. Thank mm. you so much for that. Yum.